You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a crucial role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. Embrace the profound wisdom offered by Apostle Joshua Selman, and let this encounter be a beacon of inspiration and positive change in your life's journey. Your openness to receiving this message can be a transformative step toward a more enriched and purposeful life. God does not decide who becomes wealthy or who remains poor. Write it down, please. God does not decide who becomes wealthy or who remains poor. God does not decide who becomes wealthy or who remains poor. No. If you remain poor in your life, it is not God that chose it that way. If you decide to be prosperous, it's not that God uniquely chose you, regardless you're participating in the laws that make for prosperity. Deuteronomy 30, 15 to 20. Please follow carefully. Give it to us, please. Deuteronomy 30, 15. See, I have said before you this day, follow carefully now, Koinonia, life and good, death and evil, 16. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments and his status and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. Are you seeing that now? And the Lord your God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest and pass to it. 17. But if thine hand turn away, thy heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. 18. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou passest over Jordan to go and possess it. 19. I call heaven, watch this now, and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you, Koinonia, life and death. I have set before you blessing and cursing. Therefore, I won't force you. Choose life. I've shown you life with its benefits. I've shown you death and curses with their, whole, their limitations. Choose life. I can only advise you, but I cannot force you, that both thou and thy seed may live. Verse 20. It says that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, obey his voice, cleave unto him. This is what choose life means. For he is thy life and the length of thy days. Thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, to give them. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. God does not decide who becomes wealthy or who remains poor. The Bible lets us know in Proverbs 22 and verse 2, very disturbing but truthful scripture. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. God did not make them so, but he made them all. You would think that because of this scripture, the Bible would just say men live together. But the Bible separates them into two groups, the rich and the poor. It says God made them all. But they made themselves either rich or poor. Can I give you the final orientation? So God does not decide who becomes wealthy. Don't see people who are getting wealthy and say God just decided to bless them. God just decided to bless the man of God. Decided to bless the family. And we are just cursed. No, God does not work like that. Six. And the final orientation. Then I will now show you how money in the kingdom works. How wealth in the kingdom works. Write this down, please. Kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire or a billionaire. Please write this. 
I want you to start that statement. It is going to be a big deliverance for someone right now. Kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire or billionaire. It is about having supplies that meets your needs, supports the kingdom, and makes you a blessing to your world. Let me take it again. Kingdom wealth, please believe us, hear this, is not about being a millionaire or a billionaire. Write that, then I continue. Kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire or being a billionaire. It is about having supplies that meet your needs, supplies that empowers you to support the kingdom, supplies that empower you to bless your world. That is the goal of kingdom wealth. One last time. Kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire. Body of Christ, hear me. Kingdom wealth is not just about being a millionaire or being a billionaire. It is about having supplies that meets your needs, empowers you to support the work of the kingdom, and then empowers you to be a blessing to your world. I need to say this because there is an orientation that was sincerely sold into the church that the, the blessing of the Lord is only speaking in your life financially now to the degree that you become a multi-millionaire in naira and dollars multi-billionaire in naira and dollars so there are people who are on a wild campaign to make sure that by all means they prove through their lives that the grace for kingdom wealth is upon them the assignment of god is not just to make men millionaires or billionaires being a millionaire and a billionaire is a byproduct of your diligence a byproduct of purpose a byproduct of your desire to have for the sake of your comfort are we together for the sake of the kingdom and for the sake of blessing the world whatever amounts that adds up to if at all you can give it a monetary value that becomes what you really need there are people on earth if they based on their assignment based on their mindset their level of alignment to their lives and the kingdom if they ever prosper beyond hundred thousand dollars it becomes the reason why they would die are we together because there is no assignment in their life that necessitates being wealthy beyond a hundred thousand dollars no purpose in their lives that needs to be funded with that degree of wealth are we together now yes imagine with me for instance that you came to visit someone and it is only you you didn't come with any other person and then they put a buffet on the table for you all kinds of things the whole table is full of food but it's only for you how many of you know that the visitor does not as the or the owner of the house does not expect you to eat everything that buffet is a sign of honor you are given the liberty to pick a little here by the time i fool my table with food and only you eat everything there is a spirit eating with you because no human being under normal you know what i'm talking about i mean table from this to this you sat down there and kept eating eating until you finish no 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 anything unusual is spiritual anything unusual including eating something beyond your size <laughs> are we together now if you are with me say amen, amen. kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire now don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with being a millionaire there's nothing wrong with being a billionaire are we together now it is just a name given to you by reason of a status you attain financially that's that's just it what matters to god is not that you're a millionaire or billionaire what matters to god is that by obeying his principles you attain a level where you can live a life of dignity are we together now and then you have abundant financial resources to support the program of god my goodness i'm coming there shortly it will be one of the major reasons why you must desire the blessing of the lord upon your life there is so much to be done for the kingdom so much to be done 
many believers have no idea what it costs to do the work of the kingdom there are a few people here who are pastors there are a few people here who are church leaders and you will agree with me that I, you always hear me say that the name of jesus is so heavy it takes financial resources to lift it high for the nations to see hallelujah god's kingdom wealth is not about being a millionaire a millionaire with no vision kingdom vision a billionaire with no vision kingdom vision is one who is only piercing himself with multiple sorrows what gives value to the money you have is the opportunity to live a comfortable life by it number two the opportunity to advance the program of god by it and then to help become a blessing to your world these six thoughts are very powerful and i do not want you to forget them it is the will of god for you and i to prosper financial prosperity is one of the blessings that come with loving and serving jesus that you can have abundant financial resources without knowing or without loving the lord but the peace and fulfillment that comes with it only comes exclusively from god number four that wealth and abundance in the kingdom is a function of laws is a function of human factors is a function of divine empowerment and it's a function of god the help the god factor number five god does not decide who becomes wealthy please listen god does not decide who remains poor he's given men the liberty to take advantage of the provisions that he has put in place to decide their financial destinies finally number six kingdom wealth is not just about being a millionaire or being a billionaire it is about having supplies that meet your needs watch this by this definition for someone your entire financial equation can be that god would have helped you to a point where you have cash flow enough to live a decent life with you and your children and then to be able to ensure that something from your resources are we together now comes into the kingdom come project and then that you are able to be a blessing to your world you can choose as an act of your will that i want to love god and i'm not interested in being a billionaire and a millionaire i want resources enough to take care of myself fund the gospel as much as is within my power and to be a blessing to people it is a choice and god will respect it hallelujah because there are people in church who god has been faithful to but because of a narrative that has been sold that until you see millions of dollars and billions of dollars you are not yet there if your passion is because of the kingdom you are fine but i am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving god wholeheartedly we warmly invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell your subscription represents more than just a click it signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth enlightenment and empowerment embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike we firmly believe in the transformative power of god's word and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul join our community subscribe and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey and may god's abundant blessings overflow in your life amen you can follow us on all our social media handles at flaming channel and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com thank you and may god bless you abundantly